Another party starting. Well, a new academic year can present psychological challenges for some students. To address that, the state of Utah now allows school-aged children to take mental health days. And psychologists say how they spend that time is critical. April Baker is live from Viewpoint Middle School to explain. April, good morning. Good morning, Carrie Dan. Mental health days are intended to give us a break from everyday stressors. And if your child takes one, psychologists recommend that they don't spend the entire day sleeping. Instead, they should take part in activities that restore a sense of balance and calm to their lives. Silas will soon be trading in days at the park for days in the classroom. He'll be a third grader at a new school this fall after his family recently moved to Utah from Texas. Him making new friends and that sort of thing can be overwhelming. His father Colton says he's glad his son has the opportunity to take a day off for mental health if he needs one. Just last year, Governor Spencer Cox signed a bill into law that allows students under 18 to use their mental health as a valid excuse to be absent from school. But licensed psychologist Dr. Douglas Goldsmith says mental health days should not be treated like sick days. If it's a mental health day, how are you using this to calm down, get less stressed, and be ready for tomorrow? And that needs to be planned out. What are appropriate activities for students to take part in when they're taking a mental health day? Some of those kids need to go home, catch up on a little bit of sleep, but not all day. Catch up on doing some mindfulness. Doing some physical activity is really critical. To maximize the day off, Goldsmith also recommends that healthy meals are part of the equation and to incorporate the following structure. That includes making sure your child gets parental supervision, avoid taking more than a day off because Goldsmith says it turns into a vacation and doesn't solve any problems, and structuring time for calming activities. He recommends designating time to do these activities during typical school hours and to build in breaks. Goldsmith says the goal is to help students get through this time in a comforting way so they're able to manage their anxiety in the days to come. And for Silas, his dad says that would mean more park time. I think it's really important to get outside for him. I mean, he likes playing sports, but anything that's just interacting him with other kids, What you're seeing on the screen here is Smiling Mind. It's one of the apps that Dr. Goldsmith recommends that parents and children explore if they want to incorporate more calming activities into their daily lives. We'll post that at fox13now.com. Meanwhile, mental health days are really intended as a short-term fix. If your child needs long-term care, Goldsmith recommends that they solicit help from schools or mental health experts if that's needed. Reporting live in Lehigh, April Baker, Fox 13 News, Utah.